And I also believe that had our borders are Kamala Harris done her job and addressed the problem at our southern border, instead of exacerbating the problem at our southern border, we wouldn't have even had to pay $650 million. It's actually been over a billion dollars since those two took over, Kamala Harris and Joe Biden, that we, the American taxpayer, have paid for people, again, who broke our law to come here. And it's becoming a huge problem. Every state is a border state now. We've seen fentanyl deaths, 300,000 of them since Joe Biden and Kamala Harris mm -hmm. took over the White House. You see the, the issues that it causes for so many different uh, parts of this country, $12 billion over the course of three years mm -hmm. to the city of New York. You have Aurora, Colorado, of course, with the uh, Venezuelan gang taking things over there. Wherever you look around this country, it has caused problems. It has been positive for no one. And so I think at the base of this is the fact that people are very upset that a person who thinks we should give her another crack at it, Kamala Harris, couldn't even do the one job she was given as borders are and actually secure our southern border. So, again, very frustrating to the American people. I can tell you what Donald Trump wants to do. He wants to reverse that policy. He wants to make sure we don't have people pouring over our well, southern border. He wants to put more money back in people's pockets, make it a safe country, and give us peace agreements instead of wars in the Middle East and around the world. Give me